What's up Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Tesla spy in the overall market and also break down some very, very important updates involving Chinese EVs. But please note that I am not a financial planner. Take nothing I say as financial advice. And don't forget to smash the like button. Anyways, for Tesla, let's talk about some very, very key levels. Looking at Tesla, we actually saw this big dip that came today. We attempted to push in the morning, and I did talk about how this would likely come. And I said to watch and see Tesla possibly hit this trend line to look for a rejection back to this support. If we lost the support, I talked about how we could be tipping to 215, if not 212. And those levels did end up coming since we lost this support. So the question is, why did this happen? I was looking at the headlines. I didn't really see much for Tesla except for this news. There's some news that came out from Justin Trudeau, who is the Prime Minister of Canada. And they're going to be imposing 100% tariffs on Chinese EVs, which includes Tesla, at least from my understanding thus far. So this is very important that they're imposing higher tariffs on the import of Chinese EVs. They're also going to be imposing a 25% tariff on imported steel and aluminum from China. That's going to have a big effect on a lot of sales for the EV sector. This could even affect Tesla to some extent. So this is very important, and this is very ironic considering the fact that you know tariffs have been cut a bit by the EU, but we're not seeing them playing by the same rules. This is what Trudeau has said. And on top of this, they're going to be talking about some other areas, uh, which are going to be imposing different uh, amounts of tariffs as well. So this is very, very important. There's been a lot of talk about this. And it's not the best of news for stocks like Tesla, you know, the EV sector as a whole. That could be part of why we're dipping. There's also been a lot of negative headlines coming out about Tesla's you know, recall of the Model X, at least some variants of it during a particular period. And then there's more news about how BMW managed to surpass Tesla's EV sales for just one month. So I'm seeing a lot of news about all this kind of stuff, but I think this is one of the main headlines, which is part of why Tesla's dipping. So for now, we're going to be looking at some very, very key levels. We're looking at this 212 areas are support, okay? If Tesla does not hold that, we're looking at the low here at 210. And then if that breaks, our next target is going to be all the way down here. The next support's at 208. So I'll be watching that, followed by this imbalance to fill down to about 202 if that breaks. So watch those supports. For resistance, we have our 215.50 EMA, then 217, which is very close to where this trend line happens to be. Breakdown on our next targets to be up to 220. As of right now, Tesla saw this big dump because we lost the supports. So I think we may trade within the ranges of these supports for the time being. But please notice that the direction is still more bearish looking. We are starting to downtrend a little bit. And if you look at the trend on Tesla, it's not looking that great. So we had this high 228 just a couple of days ago, came down, made a lower high came down, made a lower high. So Tesla's looking a little bit more bearish. And if we do end up losing our support at 210, there's going to be a risk of a bigger drop. So I just want to give you guys a warning about that. We haven't lost critical support yet on Tesla. We're still in this range, but there is weakness developing on the chart. So please be very mindful of that. For now, there are buyers trying to defend the 212 area. So I think Tesla may shuffle between these levels for now. But please note that there is a little bit of weakness developing on Tesla for the time being as of right now. Now, for SPY, we did push a bit. I said to watch resist resistance. I did not say SPY is going to break past 565, 566, and then just continue to squeeze to all-time highs. What I told you was that we're going to likely try to push higher, but to watch resistance, as it's going to be very tough between 563 and 565. And as a result of that, SPY pushed. We got a nice push in the morning, only to reject so far. And we saw this retraced about 560, so it's about almost four points you retraced so far. If 560 does not hold us, we're at risk of dipping to the 558 area. And our resistance, the main one to watch for is going to be at 562. I'm seeing buyers defending 560, so we could shuffle within these ranges. But I see a risk of downside if this does not hold. So you want to be very careful at that 560 area. We'll see if this breaks or not, and we'll be very, very patient nonetheless. So in my personal opinion, I think SPY may shuffle between these areas. And I think that there's a good chance that this could end up uh, tipping a little bit lower if this support doesn't hold us. But I do want to note that there are buyers trying to defend 560s. So there's going to be a lot of shuffling within these areas. I do believe that's very probable. But if we lose this, be prepared for 558 and 556. I am seeing some weakness building on SPY nonetheless after getting this rejection off the bearish divergence. On NVIDIA, I said we have to break past 132 to turn bullish. And I told you that there, so far, I was looking like if this would reject and be coming down to about 126. That is what NVIDIA did. We got this 
nice looking topping structure. We're actually in a range on NVIDIA. We're actually holding above 123 and we're rejecting off 130. So that's our range. So far, there's a risk of us dipping lower if 126 is on hold. And we'd be looking for basically 124.7. So I'll be watching these supports very carefully. I think we could dip down to the low again. NVIDIA is showing some weakness, but I think we're just range bound right now. So I think that's the most likely possibility. For Bitcoin, we're also range bound. We dipped a bit, but we're still barely holding 63,380 hour 20 EMA. If this breaks, our next target is going to be 62,500. If this holds, we could try to push back up to 64,000, but it looks kind of weak here, forming a double top. So this generally leads to some downside. So there's a risk of Bitcoin dipping a little bit lower, in my personal opinion. For the QQQ, okay, I said in the morning we were showing some weakness on the QQQ. We have a head and shoulders like structure. Um, Notice that we came all the way down to my support exactly. So we had this resistance at 475, and then our key supports at 473. Now, if we lost this, this is going to be a bad sign for the QQQ if we do close below 473. So we're barely holding support thus far. If we do lose that, I'd be looking for 471.6, followed by 467. We do have some potential downside coming as we hit these lows, and there's a possible slanted head and shoulders on the QQQ. So I see some weakness developing on the QQQ. So you want to be very careful. Uh, I think we may shuffle between around this 475 area, but there is a risk of us dipping lower, especially if we were to lose the 473s. So be very careful with that. Apple has a range technically, but as you guys could see, it's showing a little bit of weakness. We're barely holding 223.8. Uh, this 223 area, I'd say, is our support since we also have our 50 EMA here. If we lose 223.35, Apple's going to be dipping down to at least 222 or below that. Our resistance is at 225, so I see some weakness on Apple. For a few more, IWM, I said this might push a little bit higher, but just know historically between 222 and 224, we had this chop zone. And so far, it pushed a bit only to slow down. So we're looking at support at 221. If that fails, let's look at 220, then 217. There's going to be a risk of some downside. So watch and see how we end up reacting. For Coinbase, Coinbase pushed all the way up to this 212 area. Uh, if that breaks, we'd be looking for basically um, resistance at 216. If we reject it, I said we'd be dipping to at least 20. I called out 208. That's where we had this imbalance. Uh, and then our target below that's going to be at 203. So I think that our supports to watch for is at 203. And the resistance is going to be around the 208, 209 area. Coin is looking a little bit more bearish. We could dip closer to 203. So be mindful of that. Amazon has dipped, but there's a big but. We're barely holding support right now. We have a head and shoulders like structure. We're holding 175. If 175 fails us, we're going to easily dip down to 172. We look more bearish. Meta is losing 522, so we have a bearish divergence, double top like structure. This could take us all the way down to the you know lower 500s. For now, I'm going to be looking at basically 515. If that fails us, our next target is to be 509. We look more bearish on Meta. Microsoft is also looking more bearish, forming a head and shoulders. I said we're going to likely try to retest 418 and possibly reject. During the pre-market, we went up to about 417.5. So it came just short of my target before it got the rejection. This is what I was thinking would happen. And we're looking at support at 412. That fails us. We're going to be dipping all the way down to about 407. Google's also kind of rejecting here. So we didn't actually hold above our key uh, support right over here. We didn't hold above this. We pu pushed and then rejected. So there's a risk of this dipping lower. But we have 166 as support. If that fails us, I do expect downside. Otherwise, we'll see how it reacts. It may just continue to shuffle. With that being said, guys, Tesla is more bearish looking. There is a risk of dipping lower. We are seeing some buyers trying to defend it um, at the 212 area. So that's going to be an area of interest as we have our key EMAs there and a confluence of support. But there is a risk of more downside and the chart is showing some weakness. I want to give you guys a warning about that, especially as we're making lower highs. So be careful with Tesla. We got some bad news and we'll see how things go. I want to thank you all for listening. Please have a great day and I'll see you guys very soon in a couple of hours for another update. Thank you and peace out.